Oil and gas companies are receiving record profits, some of them the biggest ever, while our bills are going through the roof, most basically because we are really dependent upon these oil and gas companies. We use all this oil and gas a huge amount all the time for household, for heating, for, for transportation, for the lot. You have the big oil and gas producers in Russia or in the Middle East or in America, some of them in Europe, Saudi Aramco, $40 billion just in the second quarter, which is extraordinary. Chevron and Exxon, they've received between 10 and 20 billion. There is also a lot of money being made by the middlemen along the way, the traders. The sequence of events, first the pandemic and our quick recovery from it economically at first, when the fossil fuel industry hadn't necessarily caught up. Then, of course, combined with the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and then people trading oil and gas, and there being probably some speculation going on along the way, has led to massive bills on one hand, and then obviously really big profits by the companies on the other. For companies that are being transparent, or at least transparent enough about how much they're producing, they say, well, we produced X and the price was Y, that's what we sold it for. It's hard to say that that's profiteering, that's kind of just basic market economics, where it's less transparent, in part because there's less regulation, say in some cases for the trading. It's kind of hard to tell who's setting those high prices because what happens a bit behind closed doors and some of the companies aren't publicly traded, it's kind of hard to figure it out. There is a direct link between how much money the companies are making and how high our bills are. Now, it's not all the energy companies that are at fault here. It's a huge supply chain of energy companies, all the way from the person pulling it out of the ground to the various people trading it, to the refiners, to finally the person you see on your energy bill, the company you see on your energy bill. So the way in which they're making so much money is we're spending so much money buying it. I don't think anybody expects prices to go down at least until after the winter, if not later than that. The prices will stay high for oil and gas, and in turn, people's energy bills will stay high. And in fact, they may stay high for longer because there's usually a lag. Because oil and gas is bought on contract by companies months and months in advance, and those prices end up being passed on to consumers later. Mm -hmm.